Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's Nightcap, I've got quite a lot going on. I get some more work done on the world rotator. It's actually getting sort of near the stage where we'll be using it for four much longer. Um, Mick comes down with Stig and we'll do the draw for the, the double boost hat. A cleaner version of that one. As some nice bits of your meal come in uh, to be used in giveaways, I'll show you some of that. Last week I did a, a video, basically it was a review of a Banggood uh, parting tool setup. I said from the onset that the tooling was given to me free of charge in return for doing the review. I've had mixed response. Uh, most people thought it was a good, honest and fair review. One of people said I shouldn't be doing things like that. Well, basically, if I can do a review and get the odd little bit of tooling for my shop and also give you the heads up on what obviously is a decent piece of gear, I'm just going to carry on doing it. Uh, the title did say Tool Review. If you don't want to watch tool reviews, don't watch them. It's, it's not rocket science. Anyway, like I said, most people were perfectly happy with what I'd done. Um, I enjoyed doing it. I surprised myself as to how good the tool actually was. Anyway, it's as simple as that. If it says tool review, it will be a tool review. On the review video of that Banggood parking tool I've just done, I had a couple of people asking me what the feed rate was. Um, it's <laughs> the tool I've got no idea. The feed rate was the one that worked. So what I'm going to do is actually measure it. I'm going to put a mark on the chuck so I can make it go around for one revolution. Like that. I'm just going to put a clock gauge on here and measure it in thousands travel per RPM. I travel per one rev. Okay, so we'll start at the top like that. We'll put a clock gauge on here. We'll zero it. Try and get one RPM. It's just past one RPM, and that is actually two and a half now. So I try and count ten rims, that should give me twenty thou. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 25,000. It is just about 2,000 per rev. Keith Fitzler, champion. Right, Mick, that was great. Excellent stick, certainly back on form because he's been under the weather for a few weeks. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. This week's giveaway is going to be a Draper bearing scraper. This was kindly given to me by Dean Bristow along with one or two other bits and pieces that will be used in future giveaways. If you want a chance at winning that, all you have to do is send me your name, your full name, John Mills, not just John, but your own name, in an email, uh, that's my email address up there, your name goes into the bucket, if it's drawn out, I'll post it here, anywhere in the world, completely free of charge, as I keep saying, it's just a little way to say thank you for all the help and support I've had, I mean, I've got enough bearing scrapers to last me the rest of my life, um, this is a, quite a nice one actually, uh, so that's, that's what's going to be given away this week. I actually do a, a little job for Dev as well in the workshop. Uh, it's been, I've been getting wind of pest which has asked us for weeks and weeks to put a doorstop in the in the kitchen for her. Uh, when I couldn't put a doorstop in, it was absolutely unbelievably, the quality was atrocious. So what I did, I made her a, a billet doorstop out of solid aluminium, uh, get that installed, and I'm sure she'll be really impressed when she comes to see it. 
I've been going to put this doorstop on for devs for weeks now, and I come to do it, and honestly, I've never seen such a pathetic attempt at anything in my life. I put one screw in, and I pushed a little bit of weight on to push it square, and the end just snapped straight off. Absolutely pathetic. I've got a piece of aluminium bar in here, and I'm simply going to make a doorstop for the kitchen door, just to keep Debsy happy. She's been on about it for weeks. And then the door stop I tried to fit was such poor quality it basically fell apart. So I'm going to make one out of the solid. Basically a billet door stop. It won't give any problems, I can guarantee it'll outlast the door, the property outlast the house. I'm very pleased with this aluminium machine and the chips are breaking nicely. You know we get horrible stringy bastard chips off aluminium, but they're um, they're quite good, easy to clean up, the hoover up no problem. Right, that's the outside diameter. All I want now is the small diameter machine. The original one was held on with three screws. What I want to do is drill right down the centre and have one concealed screw going in from this end. And there's a rubber cap goes onto there, so you won't see the three the three screws. All you'll see is the actual part itself. So I need to drill a clearance hole through there for a wood screw. That's for solid aluminium for the doorstop. I'm sure this will do the job. Perfect. I'm definitely going to get brownie points for that. I use a plasma cutter uh, to cut some copper washers out for Richard's steam wagon. Uh, the big diameter washers, 4 mil thick, I think they were 40mm diameter. Um, I've machined them before from plate. I, I tried to machine out the solid bar and copper's horrible stuff to machine. And then I thought, well, why not cut it with a plasma cutter? Because the plasma will cut any material. So I did a little drone, uh, created a program, and I cut the washers out. I show a little bit of that. I was quite impressed. The finish I got on the copper, uh, it takes a lot of amperage to cut it because obviously the copper tries to get short of the heat very quickly but anyway it worked quite well I'll put some of that in I've got one or two little jobs to do for Richard's steam wagon 
The first one is I need to make a couple of copper washers like that. I've got a nice piece of copper round bar, I'll be able to get them out of that. These ones I think I made out of flat plates. Um, I had a hell of a job cutting them out, probably to turn them no problem out of that. Now what I'll do next time I've got the foundry working or the furnace working, I'll cast some copper bar specifically for making these washers. But at the minute I've got that bit of round bar. I'm sure I'll be able to get two out of that, no problem at all. Copper's not very pleasant stuff to machine, it's very stretchy and chewy, you need really sharp tooling. That's pretty horrible. Try a different different insert. Horrible. Put a bit of high speed steel in. We'll give that a try. And I've certainly put it a lot better. If I slow the speed of the layers down, I think I'll get a, an acceptable result with that. I managed to do a simple drone for the, the copper washer. I've got some form of the copper plate. I'm going to try cutting it out. That's a washer we've just cut and you can see the flash on the back is literally just coming off. Well that one's now is heating up red hot, cooling and then it'll be nicely softening the needles ready to install.